and the United Nations has launched a global appeal fund for the volcano-stricken sister isle. Prime Minister Honorable Ralph Gonzalves taught the red zone with a UN team. Here's Khalil Kato of SVG-TV. Prime Minister Gonzalves said that the communities have long faced multiple threats from nature, including sea erosion, hurricanes, unseasonal and excessive rainfall, and most recently, the eruption of the volcano in a time when the entire nation is battling the COVID-19 pandemic. Dr. Gonzalez said there is quite a bit of work that will need to be that will need to be done in the area as homes which were not totally destroyed will need extensive repairs. The Prime Minister said he wanted the United Nations officials to see firsthand the level of devastation unfolding on the island as a result of the eruption of the Lasso Freire volcano. The combination of forces of nature pile up from the last event with rainfall, excessive rainfall, and landslides and mudslides and the rest. The impact of the rumbling and rolling of stones too and the, 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 the ash fall. And on top of that, what we are seeing with sea erosion. So it's a... Uh, it's, it's the, the multiple problems. In this case, three of them related to nature. That's why several persons in the delegation from the UN using the word to describe here apocalyptic. UN resident coordinator for Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean, Didier Trebouk, described what he saw as apocalyptic, noting that his team will be working alongside the government of SVG to provide assistance to those in need. United Nations to, to help the Vincent and the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines yeah, to, with not only humanitarian assistance and, and, uh, to supply, to help the government supply the, the most basic needs like water, like food, like cash voucher, like health, and help with the cleanup of the ashes and all related environmental health issues, but also to recover from this crisis, to rehabilitate the agriculture, to uh, look after housing and the shelter, immediate needs, but also more longer term needs so that people can return safely as soon as possible and within the, 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 the current risk that exists. Trebuk further stated that all facets of the United Nations have been mobilized and a donation of two million U.S. dollars in aid will be given to SVG.